Hi guys! This time I will make a nice basket in which I will store my crochet hooks. I had a nice case for my crochet hooks but dropped coffee over this and I can't get it clean anymore. So I thought it is time for a new storage for my crochet stuff. You can use the basket for whatever you want of course. It is made of a single crochet round bottom and a herringbone half double crochet side. The free rhythm pattern can be found on my blog, the link is in the description box below. If you like this tutorial, please give me a thumbs up and if you aren't subscribed yet, you will help me to do that by pressing the red subscribe button and the bell next to it. And if you have a suggestion for a new video or a question, let me know in the comment section. For this project I used one ball of tube cotton. And they no longer sell this multicolor because I have it for a really long time, but you can replace this by, for example, by Aishan's Tube Cotton Worsted Light. You can use any yarn you like. 50 grams is enough for one basket. I have two colors here because I'm going to make two. I used a four millimeter crochet hook and a stitch marker. I used the can to put inside my basket so my basket is nice and sturdy. You can use any size of can or glass or jar you like but keep in mind that you need more or less yarn than me. If you make it bigger you need more yarn. So let's begin. For the bottom, we start with a magic ring. Place the yarn on your hand, wrap it around, slide under the first, grab the second, give it a twist, and chain one. You now have your magic ring. Okay, we start with eight single crochet in this ring so one two three four five six seven and eight and now we pull the tail end to close our to close our ring you can put in a stitch marker in your last stitch so you know when you finish your round because we don't close our rounds we keep on working in circles and then it's nice to know where your round ends so you know where to start a new round okay for the next round we have eight single crochet and for round two we make two single crochet in every stitch so 16 in total so in the first i work over my tail so i don't have to weave it in but you can weave it in later if you like so two single crochet in the first stitch, two single crochet in the next, two single crochet in the next stitch, And in every stitch around. So make two single crochet in every stitch until you have 16 stitches and you reach the stitch marker and then I'll meet you back. I reached the stitch with a stitch marker. This is my last stitch so in this stitch I need to make two more single crochet. So I take out my stitch marker and make in this last stitch 
two more single crochet. And in this stitch, I put in my stitch marker again to mark my new last stitch. Okay, for round three, we make one single crochet and in the next stitch, uh, next stitch, two single crochet. One single crochet in the next stitch, two single crochet. So in the first, we make one single crochet, and in the next stitch, we make two single crochet. In the next stitch, we will make one single crochet. In the next, we make two. In the next one, and in the next two. And so on. So repeat one single crochet, two single crochet, all the way around until you are at the stitch marker again. So I worked a couple of rounds so I can show you how you move on to make your bottom the size you want. In the first round, we've made eight single crochet. In the second round, we've made uh, two single crochet in every stitch, so 16. In the third round, we made one single crochet in between the two single crochet in the same stitch. We made two single crochet in between the two single crochet in one stitch. We've made then three single crochet in between the two single crochet in one stitch. Then we are making four single crochet in between the two single crochet. Then make five, then six, then seven in between the two single crochet in the same stitch. So we increase in every round by eight stitches. Then your circle is growing and you work up this bottom until your work is the size you want. If you want a big basket, you make your bottom bigger. If you want a smaller basket, you may maybe stop here or make it one round bigger. That's totally up to you, but keep in mind that if your basket going to be bigger than mine, then you need more yarn, obviously. So keep that in mind, and then you can start working on the bottom. Keep working in the rounds, make one single crochet in between the two single crochet um, extra in every round, and then keep working until your bottom is the, the size you want, and then I'll meet you back. My bottom is now big enough, it fits on my, exactly on my can. So the bottom is done. If your can is bigger or smaller or your jar or your vase is bigger or smaller, then work up as many uh, rounds as you need to make to cover up the bottom. If you don't want to put in a jar, a vase or a can, then don't do that. You can leave that out of your work and then you should be fine as well. We start on the side now, and for the side, we slip stitch, make a slip stitch first in the first stitch, so we close our bottom, and then we start our herringbone half double crochet. For the first round, we use the back loop only. For the rest of the rounds, we use both loops. So for this round, yarn over insert in the back loop only i show you a little bit closer you see the front loop and the back loop so insert in this back loop like this then yarn over pull up a loop three loops on your hook normally you would yarn over pull through all three loops in your hook to make a half double crochet. In this case, we make a herringbone half double. So we take the first loop and pull it 
through the second loop. So pull the first, you can move your hook to the back side, so you can do it a bit easier, but you have to find out yourself which way is the easiest for you. And then yarn over, pull through both loops on your hook. Let's do that again. Yarn over, insert in the, you have the front loop and the back loop, insert in the back loop, then yarn over, pull up a loop, and pull the first loop through the second loop. Like this, you have two loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, insert in the back loop, yarn over, pull up a loop, pull that loop through the second loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, insert in the back loop, Yarn over, pull up a loop, pull the first through the second, yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, insert in the back loop, yarn over, pull up a loop, pull the first through the second, yarn over, pull through two. One more time, yarn over. Insert in the back, back loop, pull up a loop, pull the first loop through the second, yarn over, pull through two. So this is your herringbone half double crochet. Repeat this all the way around until you are at the first stitch again. You can take out the stitch marker. We don't need that anymore. So work your way around in the back loop only until you are at this first herringbone half double crochet again and then I'll meet you back. I am at the end of my round and we end our round with a slip stitch in the first herringbone half double. So our round is done so we go to round two. We chain two Turn our work. We always chain two, turn our work for this basket side. So yarn over, and then in the first stitch, under two loops, so no longer in the back loop only, under two loops, pull up a loop, and make a herringbone half double. Yarn over, insert in the next stitch under two loops, pull up a loop. Pull the first through the second and finish your herringbone half double. Under two loops and make a herringbone half double. So repeat this all the way around and I'll meet you back when I'm at the end of this round. I am at the end of my second round. Close the round with a slip stitch in the first herringbone half double. So not in the chain two from the beginning, but in the first herringbone half double. And you see your side is forming. Okay, for the next round and every round after the, this round, chain two, turn your work. If you want to learn how to make a seamless start and join you can click on the link in the corner there's a video tutorial to teach you how to do a seamless join and an invisible start okay so we chain two turned our work yarn over insert in the first under two loops and then make a herringbone half double in the next herringbone half double and in every stitch around. So keep working, making herringbone half doubles all the way around, close with a slip stitch in the first herringbone half double, chain two, turn your work, and make your way back, make herringbone half double crochets. Keep working, 
make as many rounds as necessary to cover your whole can, face or jar or if or stop until you think your basket is high enough if you don't want to put a glass or a can inside. So keep working on your herringbone half doubles and I'll meet you back when the side is the right size. Okay, my basket is the right height for me. So my can fits exactly inside. You can leave it like this or if you think it's nice to cover the inside as well, it's optional, then you can do that as well. Um, for the outside, if it fits, you can bind off and leave, weave in your end. For the inside, if you want an inside, that is totally optional. You need some matching normal cotton yarn. I have a pile, <laughs> a big mess here, but I have gray cotton yarn, number two, and I use a three and a half millimeter crochet hook, so a half size smaller than the outside. And then we can make a cover for the inside of the can. If you just made um, the basket and you don't want to put something inside, like a can or a jar, then you can also make this inside to make it a bit sturdier because you fold this inside and then your side has two layers and is a bit sturdier. So if you want an inside like me, then grab some matching number two cotton yarn and then I'll show you how. So I take out my can for a while and then start with a slip knot on your hook. I have the outside loop and the inside loop and we only use the inside loop so the back loop only so insert in the back loop of the first stitch grab your slip knot and pull through pull tight chain one now your yarn is attached then yarn over insert in the same loop yarn over pull up a loop yarn over pull through all three loops on yoke so you made a normal half double crochet. For the inside we make all normal half double crochets. So yarn over, insert in the, you have a front loop and a back loop, insert in the back loop only and then work over your tail or weave it in later and make a normal half double crochet. So insert in the back loop only Pull up a loop and yarn over pull through all three loops on yoke. Make a normal half double crochet. Back loop only and finish like a normal half double crochet. Back loop only, half double crochet. Okay. Finish your round of normal half double crochets in the back loop only and I'll meet you back when I'm at the end of this round. I'm at the end of my round. I just made my last half double crochet and now we make a slip stitch in the first half double crochet to close our round. And you see by working in the back loop only and with a slightly smaller hook, your work wants to curl inside. And that's exactly what we need to cover up the inside of the basket. So for the rest, it's easy peasy. Just chain one and make a half double crochet in every stitch around. In this case, we no longer use the back loop only, but you can insert your hook under two loops. So insert under two loops and make just normal half double crochets for as many rounds as necessary to get the same height 
wait, to get the same height as your side of the basket. So we make the same amount of stitches of the same height of rounds and then I'll meet you back to show you how to finish your basket. So keep working. Rounds of normal half double crochet under two loops and then every once in a while fold it inside to see if it is in the right size yet. And if it is, then I'll meet you back. So my inside is also done. I bind off and weaved in my ends and now it's time to see if it fits. So put in your can and if you don't want to put in a can or a jar or a vase then just fold the outside of the inside to the inside and then your cover is done. So your basket is done and you have nice finished finished basket. So this one is finished. The gray inside and the colorful outside. I also made a, oh wait, a smaller one from a, with a smaller can inside. And for this one I'm going to make a lid. So to make the lid, you make a circle just like you did for the bottom of your of your basket. But then you make it one round bigger. So I made my bottom twice. So this this will be my lid and this is the bottom of my can of my basket. So you make this one round bigger than the bottom. So if you place it on top, you see, wait, on top like this, you see that it sticks out. That's what we need. For the lid, we, it should fall easily over the sides. So repeat the same procedure as you did for the bottom but make it one or two rounds bigger and then I'll meet you back. Okay, the bottom is done and now we start with the side of our lid. And therefore we make one single crochet in every stitch around without any increases. So put in a stitch marker in your first stitch so you know where to end your round. So make one single crochet in every stitch around and then I'll meet you back. I'm almost at the end of my round so I need two single crochet and then I am at my stitch marker again and I close this round with a slip stitch in this first single crochet. Put the stitch marker back in. You can fit on your basket, fit the lid <laughs> and see if it has the right shape, if it, if it is not too big or too small. If it is too big you can redo this um, this round with a smaller hook. If it is too small you can uh, choose to make your bottom or the top of your lid one round bigger or you make the side with a bigger hook. So that's uh, two options. So to finish this circle the lid we insert our hook again. And now you have two options. You have lots of options, but I tell you two options. You make two more rounds of normal single crochets in every 
stitch around or you make one more row of herringbone half double crochets. So if you want to make the herringbone half doubles, you chain one, yarn over, and in the same stitch, you start with your herringbone half doubles. First one. And then repeat all the way around. So make one row round of herringbone half doubles. And then I'll meet you back at the end or make two more rounds of normal single crochet all the way around. So that's up to you. Just do what you prefer. Then I'll meet you back. Okay, I am at my last half herringbone half double and now I close the round with a slip stitch in the first stitch. Now my lid is almost done. I think it is nice if it is tight, tighter on the bottom. So I switch, I make one more round and I switch for my four millimeter to uh, three millimeter crochet hook to make the last round. And the last round is only single crochet. So I make one round of single crochets, put in my stitch marker to mark my first stitch and then make one single crochet in every stitch around to finish it off. So make your round and I'll meet you back when I'm at the stitch marker again and then I'll show you how to make a handle. And if your side is too wide, switch to the three millimeter crochet hook as soon as you stop increasing on the side. So your side will be a lot tighter from the start of the side. Okay, I'm at my first stitch again. So I take out my stitch marker and make a slip stitch in the first single crochet of this round to close the round. And now you see your your lid has a nice and tight border. So let's see if it fits. Perfect. Okay, now we bind off and weave in this end. So catch your yarn, yarn over, pull through and pull tight. So weave in this end. Just work it through the back of the work and then you can cut the rest. Okay, for the handle we make a row of half double crochets. So we change to our four millimeter crochet hook again, then make a slip knot on your hook. and make a half double crochet foundation chain or chain three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, 12, 13, 14, and 15. So this will be the length we need. So make a, a half double crochet foundation chain of 15 or chain 15 and make a row of half double crochet on top. So chain one, turn your chain so you see the back bumps and then yarn over and insert in the one, two in the second back bump and make a half double crochet. 
If you want to learn how to make the half double crochet foundation chain, then you can click on the link in the description box. So make a half double crochet on every chain across. In every back bump you can use the front as well but now you have a nice border so I like to use the back bumps but you can choose which way you like So make your row of half double crochets to the end and then I'll meet you back. I'm almost at the end. I need one more half double crochet in this last chain and then my row is done. Then I can cut my yarn. yarn over pull through and pull tight so my strip is done and now we need to attach this on top let me show you the side attach it like this so we can use the tail if i can yes Okay, then you have to decide where you want your if you where you want your handle, if you want it a little bit apart or you want it close together. That's up to you. I think it is nice to put it a little bit aside and I take a stitch marker to attach it. on both sides like this so so and now you go through your lid pull tight and go back up through the lid and through your handle and like this you attach your handle to the to the lid so through the lid through the handle And then you can go to the other side and if you work your yarn through the inside of the lid you can use the same tail and you can see it on the inside this so i think that is nice and then through the lid and through the handle again and back you can work your way around like this so both sides are attached and then you can bind off so weave in your end cut your yarn
you can take out your stitch markers and then you are all done weaving this as well and then you have your lid with handle finished so put it on and your basket with lid is also done so we have a big basket and a small basket and the small one has a nice lid if you like this tutorial please give me a thumbs up and if you aren't subscribed yet and you like what you see then hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you never miss another video if you have a question or a comment leave it in the comment section down below see you next time bye bye mm -hmm.